hello guys in this video you will learn how to create this logo with pixelab to get started i need an object which is going to be a circle so i have to put it in black color so right now i copied it i move to color enable color so that i will change the color i put it to white color i click on good so I have to resize it. Let me move to relative position so that to make sure it's at the center. Good. Let me move to position. Let me move to position again. Let me reduce this to one. Okay, it's good like this. All right, I have to move to layer. So let me mesh two of them. I click mesh. I mesh two of them. I copied it. I bring this one over here. I have to rotate this one. Let me resize it. Let me bring it inside. Let me zoom it. Okay, I, I think it's okay like this. What we will do now is that we need to erase the color. You move to erase color, you enable it. We have to select the white color, which is this one. You click on good. Let's increase the tolerance to 12. You click on good now we move to the second one let's erase the color also you enable it let's increase the tolerance to 12 you click on good now the next thing that we have to do now we need an object we need an object let me give it a black color Let me zoom it. Okay, what I'm doing here is that you know, see, uh, even though that we erase the white color, yeah, it still um, indicates that there is an object there. So, if we add texture in this thing now, it's going to cover the whole white area. You understand that? It's going to cover the whole circle. Now we have to merge this object and this object so that it's going to make it an object. Without doing so, when we when we add texture in this object now, it's going to cover the whole circle, but we don't want that. So that's why I'm going to merge two of them. I will still show you what I'm doing. You will still get an understanding of what I'm doing, so don't worry. So I move to a position. So let me bring this one inside very well. So what I will do here is that I have to merge the two. This is this, this two. I have to merge it. I click on merge. So just watch. Did you notice? Did you notice anything? Just watch this layer now. This second layer now. When I merge it now, it's going to open the inside, which indicates that. That there is no there is no object there again. You understand that? So just in the, just watch now. Did you notice anything? The the circle the, the, the circle inside that is the white one that we remove the the color that we erase the color has been removed entirely. So there is no longer an object there. So we are going to do the same thing on this layer. Now I have to move to this layer. 
So I bring an object here. Let me give it black color. I click on good. Let me zoom it so that I will see it very well so that I can set it properly. Let me use position. I think it's good. Okay, it's good like this. So what I will do is that I have to do the same thing. I have to merge two of them. Just look at the last layer. It's going to open it. It's going to remove the entire white object. Have you seen it? Now let me select this first layer. Let me erase this color. I click on go right now. It's okay. So what we need now is that we need an image, which is the ego. This is the ego. Let me crop it. Let me resize it. I think it's okay like this. All right. What I need to do now is that I need to create an opening here, which is going to be an object. I need to create an opening here. So you have to make sure that you align it properly. Okay. I think it's okay like this. All right. So what we are going to do here is that we need to we need to merge the two. Okay. I have merged the two right now. So let me zoom out. What I will do now is that I need to move to erase color. I enabled it. Okay, because the white color has been selected, it has removed it immediately. So there is no need to pick the color again. So what I will do now is that I have to increase the tolerance, just make it 12. So when you are done, you click on good. Simple. So right now, everything is also okay so what we do have to do now is that even though that we have removed that we have erased the white the white color the object is still there let's see have you seen it that object is still there so what we need to do now to remove the object is that we need to create another object we need to add another object and merge it with it so let me give this one black color so let me zoom it let me bring it closer okay i think it's okay like so what i will do now is that i have to merge two of them so that it's going to remove that white object entirely have you seen it it has removed it entirely so there is no longer an object there so that's the essence of doing this thing so what we need now is that we need a texture we need to add some texture to add some texture you click select the first one we select this layer the first layer so let's add some texture on it you move to texture so let's add this this image you click on good so the second one which is the second layer i think i made a mistake here i did not oh. okay it's okay it's okay i didn't make a mistake so let me bring this one down down here okay so what i need to do now is that i need to select this one i need to select this one let me add some texture there so let me add this texture i click on good so let me move to texture let me increase the scale 
I think it's it's, uh, it's okay like this. All right. So what I will do is that in order to remove this, thing, we are going to make use of eraser. I have to erase it. So let me erase this place. So we are done. We click on good. So that's it. Simple. So now what we need to do now is that we need to add a, a texture here. You select it. You move to texture. We are going to apply a silver texture here, which is this one. You click on good. We're almost done. So now we need a test. You bring it down. This test is going to be King Ego. King Ego. You click on good. Let's change the font. You move to font. The font that we are going to use is this one. You click on good. Let me increase it. Right now, I need to, I need to give it um, letter spacing. I think six is okay. Let me zoom out. Okay. What I need to do now is that I need to, I need to merge this, this tray. You click on merge. Let me bring it up. Let me bring this one up. All right. All right. So I need another test. So this test is going to be daily tech. Let me zoom in. I love zooming in so that I, I will see what I'm doing properly. Now let me change the font. Let me use this font. I click on let me give it letter spacing. Let me make it five is okay. And let me leave it in six. I click on good. Let me zoom out so that I will see what I, what I did. Okay, it's okay like this, perfect. So what I will do now is that I need to merge these two. I need to merge these two. All right, perfect. Perfect. This is good. Now let's add the texture. I'm going to use this texture. I click on good. Let me change the scale. Let me set the scale. I think this is okay. Okay, this is good. We're almost done. Right now, what I need to do is that I have to merge it. Let me merge two of them. All right, we're almost done. So what I will do now is that I need to come over to size, to image size. I have to choose YouTube thumbnail. I click, um, I click OK. Let me resize it. This is good. Okay, let me change the background. I move here from gallery. Let me choose this image. All right, this is good. Let me zoom in. Let me resize it. I have to rotate it. I think it's okay like this. I think it's okay like this. Good. But now, what we need to do now is that we need to add it a trade chip. You enable 3D. You put it in oblique. You reduce the depth to two. Now. You remove you move to the angle you shift it this side maybe 202 is good i think this is good okay this is good let's increase the the darkening okay i think two is okay 
if it is too much to, to you you can still make some adjustments I think this is good now we need to move to emboss you enable it need to do some settings here so that's going to be okay okay I think this is good when you're done you click on good right now let me zoom out first let's do some some torsion on the image you move to vignette you enable it let's reduce it to 30 you click on good let's move to contrast let me increase the contrast to less to 20 let me see how 20 looks 21 20 uh, let me increase it i think 25 is okay i click on good let me select this i think the 3d test is somehow too big let me see i move to a 3d shape and one is too small let's leave it in two if there is any way to reduce it more i would have done it i think two is okay all right let me zoom out i think this is okay when you're done you save it you move to save save as image save to gallery this is it thank you so much for watching this video if you find this video useful click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos see you soon